so excited to find some eggs. Do you have your looking eyes ready? Me too. Let's do it. Oh, 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 we found our first egg. It's yellow. Should we wait or open it up now? Now, right? <laughs> All right. It's two cars. It's a green car and a purple car. Let's have a race. Who do you think is gonna win? <gasps> I think it was green. I think it was green. We'll have to try it again in the studio. Awesome. I bet there's more. Let's keep going. Eggs. You gotta look up high and look down low. Oh! <gasps> this green one. It looks like an alligator. <laughs> What's inside? <gasps> what? It looks like beads for a bracelet. Should we make it? There's different colors and letters. Oh, I know what this spells. going the right way. Woo! Do you see it? K-Y-L-E-E. -E. Kylie, that's me. I made a special bracelet just for me and I cannot wait to wear it. What letter does your name start with? Mine starts with K. Oh, let's keep going. Sometimes different color eggs can blend in with the background, so you have to look very carefully for those camouflaged eggs. Hmm. What? You see one over here? <gasps> Hi, little stripey. What's in here? mold this into whatever shape we want. Ooh, it feels good and squishy. I'm going to make, hmm, maybe a dog. Made a ball for his head. Gonna have floppy ears like hash brown the dog. And, ooh, a cute little nose. Look like a dog to you? Thanks. <laughs> Let's keep going. Hmm. Whoa! Two right next to each other. yellow. I wonder what these have inside. What? Legos? <gasps> and there's instructions on how to build <gasps> this really cool truck. Should we do it? All right. Room, 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 room. Amazing. Whew. That was fun. Do you think there's more out here? <laughs> this is awesome! Come on, truck! Uh, this 
would be a good place to hide an egg. <laughs> I see you. Whoa! This is an amazing surprise egg. It's a little butterfly and a tiny, tiny paintbrush and paints to paint it with. Let's do it. butterfly. I can't wait for it to dry so that I can display my piece of art in my house. Let's keep going. is inside. Only one way to find out. What? Hmm. Come on down here. What? <gasps> I know what this is. It's a little flower pot. Soil, a tiny seed, and a little bucket, and a little trowel to plant it with. That is so fun! Let's do it. First, the soil. Fill up our pot. That looks like enough. Now, let's get out our seed. We'll dig a little hole. And plant it. Boop. Cover it up. Press it down a little bit. And then, water it. I'll have to put real water on it later. I can't wait to see what this grows into. Wow. I have a feeling that there's one more. The stump is always a good place to look for things. Let's check it out. <gasps> what? Do you hear that? There's something inside. This is a surprise egg with a toy inside, just like the other ones that we just found. How do we get it out? Have you ever broken open a real egg? Like when you're helping bake a cake or cook? You have to crack the shell, don't you? I wonder if to get the surprise out of this surprise egg, we have to crack the clay open. Should we try it? Okay. Ready? All right. One, two. Oh, three. 
What is? I know what this is. Watch. Put the little ball in his mouth and. <laughs> Sorry, I shot you with the ball. That is so fun. Throw it back. Nice. All right, catch. You ready? Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is so fun. And this has given me a great idea on how to use the supplies that we found in the maker box earlier. You want to go do it now? To the studio! We're ready to hide these and crack them open. Wouldn't it be fun if we could share this art with some other people too? I have an idea. Some of Dax's friends are coming over. What if you and I hid these eggs around my yard and when Dax and Roman and Frankie come over, they can go on an egg hunt and then an egg smash and get some awesome toys. Do you want to? Okay, I'm gonna finish these up. I'll see you out there. Our clay surprise eggs are ready and Dax and Roman and Frankie are on their way. Let's hide them together, come on. excited to find some Easter eggs, aren't we? Let's do it. Ready? One, two, three. Let's go. Let's look over here and see if we can find anything. Good job. Get it, get it, get it. Do you see any anywhere? Woo! You see it? Woo! The last one, come on. This part is very exciting because we have to smash them to get the toys out. Smash them? Yep, which one do you want to open up first, Dax? This one. Okay, put it right here on the rock. Oh yeah, you can smash it that way. <gasps> What's in there? A cow. What's in there, Frank? Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, what's in there? <gasps> There's something in that. <gasps> Silly putty. These are like rings that go on your fingers like this. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> Smash. <gasps> A slinky. <Yeah>. I need to do this one. Look at. Woo! Look what hopped out of your egg. Frank, look. 
A new hallway. <laughs> and you got a car too, a purple one. And dax has got a yellow car. You guys should race. Oh, perfect. Look, a stretchy dinosaur. <laughs> that was so fun opening up these amazing eggs with our friends. And it was so fun making these eggs with you. I'll see you next time. There's even more to explore. Stay tuned for more Outside Kylie Makes It. Got my fish. Got some water. Let's fill it up. Ready to put our fish in the tank? Me too. Who should we start with? Um, maybe Spoonfish. All right, Spoonfish, swim! Spoonfish? Spoonfish sunk. Huh. Okay, who's next? Uh, how about Ping Pong Fish? All right, Ping Pong Fish. Swim! Oh. Ping pong fish floats. Some things are going to sink and some things are going to float. The spoon is heavier than the water, so it sinks. But the ping pong is lighter than the water, so it stays on top. It floats. Let's see what else our fish do. Do you think carfish is going to sink or float? Sink is my guess. Dive. Oh, a float! Or a sink. It looks like his little fins are swimming. That's mostly a float. Okay, how about Chalkfish, sink or float? Let's see. Bloop. Floater. Let's see if my friend's old toy fish sink or float. Ready? One, two, three! Sink! For fish, they are not very good swimmers. <laughs> uh, milkfish? Rawr, rawr, rawr. One, two, three. Oh, a float. Hairbrush fish, sink or float? What's your guess? Let's check it out. Let's go backwards this time. Three, two, one. <gasps> Another float. Now we've got my favorite, potato fish. <laughs> Do you think potato fish will sink or float? Hmm, I think it might sink. Let's check it out. Yep, potato fish sinks. And last but not least, little, little, little chicken fish. <laughs> Chicken fish did a beautiful dive down, down, down to the bottom. Chicken fish is a sink. This was so fun. Did you guess most of them right? I think I guessed most of them would sink and they floated. <laughs> uh, well, this isn't what I was expecting, but it's still fun. Let's go back to the purple chair and talk all about it. Join me in the purple chair and in my studio by watching full episodes. Just search for Kylie Makes It. K-Y-L-E-E, -E, that's me. Got our bug catcher, got my net. I lost the trail of our studio bug, but I bet we can find some other amazing bugs out here, don't you think? Let's go bug hunting. 
This big tree fell down in a storm that we had. I wonder if there's any bugs hanging around these branches. Bugs. You see anything? <gasps> I see something. He's in the net, he's in the net. Okay, time to put him in here. I think you're really gonna like the house we made for you. You see him in there? Let's go find some more. <laughs> Do you have a favorite kind of bug? A ladybug? A buzz bee? Oh, how about a little ant? a grasshopper. Oh, you know what other kind of bug I love? Caterpillars. How about you? I think mine would be a butterfly or a lightning bug. I love those when they light up at night. My favorite. I really want to see a butterfly. Butterflies really like flowers. Maybe we should go somewhere where there's flowers, right? Oh! Okay, you're nice and safe, don't worry. There you go. Look at this bee. It's getting pollen and it's going from one flower to the next. That helps the bee have food to eat, but it also helps the flowers. It pollinates them, which helps other flowers grow. Isn't that amazing? Look at that spider. He can't wait to get inside. Let me in, let me in. <laughs> you can come in, spider. Here you go. <laughs> We've seen a lot of bugs that like the sunshine and flowers and grass. Now we're gonna look for some bugs that like the cool darkness of underneath things. Let's flip over this stump and see if we can find any. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Amazing. Who knew there were so many bugs living in this one little under the stump world? Here's a grub. We found so many amazing bugs under there. I better put the stump back so that they stay nice and safe. Bye. Thanks for showing us you. Still really want to catch a butterfly. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh! Look at him. Welcome to the family. Ouch. Whoa, We're okay. what an amazing world of bugs we've discovered. I'm gonna keep these guys just outside for a little while. And once I'm done looking at them, I'll let them go again. I'm really bummed that we didn't see a butterfly today, but what if before you go, we make a butterfly together? Do you want to? Okay, we'll do a quick butterfly craft. Here's how you get it ready to start. To make the base for your symmetrical butterfly or bug, you're gonna need a big piece of construction paper, a smaller piece of printer paper, a glue stick, and a scissors. Start by folding your white paper in half. Cut out one side of your bug shape. Now, when you open that up, it will be the full canvas for your bug. But, until we're ready to paint, we're just gonna glue one side down to our construction paper. This will make a great canvas for when we're ready to do our painting. Boop, boop, 
Once your canvas is ready, it's time to paint. We're just gonna paint the one side that's glued down. Then we'll squish it together, pull it apart for the final reveal. Here we go. Squish, 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 squish. And now it's time to see our butterfly. <gasps> I love it. Finally got one. Kylie makes it. Keep watching. There's more to make together. I love being outside. I love everything about it. I love the wind and the trees. I love the sun. I love the stump. I love the grass. I love this bug. Come over here. Look at this awesome bug. It has black triangles on its back and it looks like it's checking out this really cool rock. Look at that rock. It has stripes on it. This is amazing. It has stripes on the front and the back. Look at this one. This one has holes in it. Hey, I have an idea. Do you want to go on a rock hunt with me? Let's go. Come here, I see a really cool plant. Whoa, it's like little berries that are turning colors. But do you see any rocks? Whoa, 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 yeah, look. This rock is incredible. It's light, kind of a light gray, and it's a cool shape. It's um, a triangle. Do you see anything else under here? Look at this one, whoa. This one's kind of a triangle too. It's a big triangle here and a little triangle here. These are so cool. Let's keep going. Wow, look at these flowers. They are my favorite color. Can you guess what my favorite color is? Yellow. Look at all the bugs. The bugs must like yellow too. Okay, okay, we're not on a flower hunt, we're not on a bug hunt, we're on a rock hunt. What did you find? <gasps> Whoa. I like this one. It looks like a pyramid. Oh, and it was sitting on top of this one. It looks really dirty, but look at this part that's just kind of clean and smooth. This looks like a shark tooth. Look at these huge ones. This rock is big and heavy and bumpy. And look, it has a friend. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I found lots of rocks. 
I found one that looks like a slice of pizza. Probably not very delicious. Look at this huge rock. It's very heavy and very hairy. Do you think you would like to have green hair? I feel like I just need one more rock, you know? The perfect last rock. Maybe a nice smooth oval. It's perfect. You are a great rock. Into the backpack with you. Ah. All right, rock collection. Let's go. Whoa. Whoa. Rock collections are heavy. Wow, guys, come look at all these amazing rocks we found together. Which one is your favorite? Hmm. I think, I think my favorite is this one. It's so cool. It's so cool that this beautiful little thing was just hiding right in my backyard. You guys, I have an idea. What if the thing that we made together today used these amazing rocks that we found and then we made them even more amazing and hid them around my neighborhood so that other people could find some beautiful, surprising little pieces of art. Do you want to? Me too. So let's see, what do we need to do first? Mm, I know, these rocks are kind of dirty. Let's give them a bath. This is going to be the perfect rock bathtub. I'm so excited. I have my towels. I have a big, nice bowl to put my rocks in once they're clean. I got my rocks. I'm ready for rock bath time. I'm missing something. Oh, the bubbles. I have them right here. still doesn't seem right. Can you think of anything else I need? <laughs> of course, the water. Come on. Get ready, Mr. Rock. We got one rock in, we got some bubbles. Now we just need to put the rest of our rocks in. That made a big splash, did you see it? Woo! <laughs> Sorry, friend! <laughs> I see all my rocks in there under the bubbles. They're getting nice and clean. I love playing in water. I love bath time and I love swimming pools outside. Do you like bath time? I think the rocks really like it. I'm gonna use a washcloth to get the dirt off of them really well. Our first shiny, clean rock. Whoa. When I wash the dirt off of this one, it got dark orange and this beautiful brown. This one kind of looks like a potato. No. This one has some slime on it. 
Come on, little rock. Get clean. You need to soak. Are you all out of the bathtub? Oh, I found some hiding. Got them. All right, my friends, our rocks are all clean. It's time to take them to the studio. Look at all of the art we made out of these amazing rocks we found. We took the rocks from nature and then we made something out of them and now they're art. The next thing we're gonna do is I think the best part about making art. We get to share it with people. Since we found these rocks in surprising places and it was a little bit like an adventure hunt, we're gonna take all these rocks and bring them to a park and hide them along paths so that people, if they're paying attention, will find a little art surprise. Let's go. Hi friends, we're here at my favorite park with a backpack full of rock art to hide. Come on. This looks like a great spot. Now, someone who's walking along this path will find a soccer ball rock. Does this look like a good spot for a rock? Let's find a good one. Oh, I know. Little caterpillar. I think these rock stairs are the perfect place for a surprise rock. I know just the one. Pizza time. Hmm. Hey, look down here. I found a little creek. I think this is the perfect place for our planet. Hop over. Let's keep going. Do you think I can reach way up there to put a rock? Hmm. Maybe this watermelon one. Oh! All of our art rocks are hidden. I love imagining who might find them and what they might think when they find an unexpected art surprise on their nature walk. I hope it helps them have such a good day. Speaking of, I had so much fun making with you today. Let's go back to my purple chair and talk all about it. Kylie makes it. I love playing outside with you. If you wanna check out the inside of my studio, just watch full episodes by searching Kylie Makes It. For our first messy craft today, we're using soap and bubbles. Not something you usually think of as being messy, but we can do it. We're just gonna add some paint. Now, however much paint you put in the cup, put that amount of dish soap in each one. Then add some water. Now give those a stir. color you want to start with. I'm going to start with blue. Then grab a straw, put it in. Don't drink it. You're going to blow it out like you're blowing up a balloon or like you're blowing a bubble. Ready? Look! <gasps> wow! As the bubbles travel across the paper, they'll pop and leave their cool 
bubble print. What do you think will happen if I use three straws at one time? Let's try it. <laughs> I'm gonna move these cups all over and blow more and more bubbles until I have a masterpiece. I could do this all day. I learned so much about what colors mixed together made other colors, and I made some beautiful colors in this messy, soapy painting. Here, the red and blue mixed together to make purple. Here, yellow and blue mixed together to make green. And I'm gonna have some really cool paintings at the end because as the bubbles on the paper, they're gonna leave behind a paint bubble trail. Now that our canvas is ready, our paint brushes. Today we're using darts. Ready? All right, let's do it. Woo! Yes! That one got me. <laughs> How many are left? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. We got this. Look, I went all the way around this blue one without hitting it. I'll get it this time. This is it. I can feel it. This is it. I can feel it. Now that we popped all of our balloons, let's take the balloons off so we can see the painting underneath. This is one beautiful mess. I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's dry. That was so fun. You can find more videos, educator, and parent resources at kyliemakesit.com. Whenever I need materials for my art projects that I don't have in my studio, I like to start outside. Come on, let's look for something to make our planets out of. Ugh, my son's always leaving his toys in the yard. Oh. Do you like to play sports? You do? Come on. Wait a minute. I just had such a good idea. What if we use different kinds of balls to make the planets out of? Let's go get that one. I think it would make a really good Earth. Looks like Earth to me. So we have one. We need seven more balls. Let's go on a hunt. Oh. Do you know what kind of ball this is? It's a tennis ball. This would make a great mercury. Oh, there's a ball in this car. This ball lights up. You know what is the brightest planet? Venus. Let's use this one for Venus. Mercury, Venus, we got Earth. <gasps> Mars is a small red planet, so I think this would be a great Mars. 
Then next is the biggest planet, Jupiter. Look at this. A basketball. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, the planet with the rings around it, uh, Saturn. Hmm. Do you see a ball anywhere? Oh! Another basketball. But this one's a little smaller. So is Saturn, so this works great. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, two left. Uranus. Mm. Oh, look at this little soccer ball. Uranus, Neptune a little smaller than this. Perfect! We'll use this tiny, tiny bowling ball. Let's go to the studio. Keep watching, there's more to make together. Hi, it's me, Kylie, and this is my dog, Hash Brown. And we are so glad you're here today because it's a very special day around here. Hash Brown, do you know why? It's Hash Brown's birthday! Oh, happy birthday, buddy! Let's take him on a birthday walk. You wanna go on a walk? You wanna go on a walk with us? Come on. was a long and good walk and we got to see a lot of our neighbors and friends. So awesome. What a good way to celebrate Hash Brown's birthday. I think he's tired. <laughs> hey, while he's not listening to us, I just had a secret special idea. What if you and I planned Hash Brown a surprise birthday party? We could make him presents and a card and decorations and cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Do you want to? Me too. Okay, let's go. Party hat, party hat, party hat, party hat, party hat. <laughs> okay, let's get Hash Brown up here. Ready, Hash Brown? Yeah. Surprise! Yeah. <gasps> Happy birthday! Yeah. Hash Brown, this is your birthday party. <laughs> Cute! <laughs> Happy birthday, Hash Brown. We love you so much. Kylie makes it. Oh, <laughs> hi, it's me, Kylie. I'm just in my backyard doing a bird watch. Whoa, look at that. Ooh, a flamingo. I can't believe it. <laughs> that was amazing. I didn't even know those were in my state. Oh, wow, look. Hmm? What's up? I'm a bald eagle. What you gonna do about it? <laughs> Ow. Tweet. You hear that? Tweet, tweet. <gasps> Whoa. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's a parrot. You can't hold me down. I love finding birds. I love birds that are just right around my house. <laughs> In fact, I have a lot of different bird feeders and even some bird Later. nests right here at my house. I can watch them through my windows. <gasps> Oh, hey, my bird feeder needs filled up. You wanna come with me? Let's go. Here's one of my bird feeders. There's different kinds of bird feeders and different kinds of bird food for different kinds of birds. This is just kind of a mix. Look, there's corn and sunflowers and other kinds of seeds in here. This is designed so that if a squirrel gets on it, it puts its heavy body right here and it shuts. That makes sure that the birds get the food and not the squirrels. Perfect. Hmm. 
Dinner's ready, little birds. Come and get it. Want to see something so cool? I have two bird nests right here on my front porch. This nest was built by robins and I got to watch the mama robin every day. She and the daddy robin built the nest together and then she laid her eggs. She sat on them, which is called incubating them. And then one day they hatched <laughs> one at a time until all the baby robins were hatched. Then she stayed there to keep them nice and warm until they were ready to boop, hop out of the nest. You want to look at it? Come, come see. Look way up there. Birds don't live in nests like this. It's kind of like a crib for a tiny baby. It keeps all the little baby birds together in one place so the parents know how to feed them and where they are. It also keeps them nice and warm, protected, and camouflaged. Do you know what camouflage means? It means that you blend in to the environment around you so that anything that might want to come eat the little birds up can't even see them. Okay. Now, we're going to be very quiet and very gentle because there is a finch nest in my plant on my porch and it has eggs in it right now. Last time I saw it, there were five eggs. Let's see if there's any more today. Come on. The nest is right up in this plant. Talk about camouflage. I wouldn't have even known it was there, except one day I was sitting out here and I saw a mommy finch and a daddy finch building their nest right in here. Why don't you come peek very gently and very carefully, don't touch anything, and see how many eggs are in the nest today. <gasps> one, two, three, four, Five! <gasps> Five eggs, and look at that nest! Wow! Hey, I have an idea. What if we made our own bird nest today? <laughs> do you want to? Let's do it. To the porch. <laughs> to make this pretend nest today, I'm gonna start with a circle of cardboard. You're also going to need cardboard sticks, I have some tissue paper feathers, some cotton balls, some string, yarn, felt, whatever you want, glue, and some scissors. Birds make all kinds of different nests depending on what kind of bird they are. Some just dig a hole in the ground and that's their nest. Some put their babies in the hole of a tree. Some, like the robins and finches, and the nests we saw, make something called a cup nest. They make it with all sorts of things that they find. They make it with sticks and twigs. They make it with bark from trees. Maybe some old string or hair that they find. and they use all those things to build up, up, up the sides of their nests so that their babies have a nice, warm, safe place to live. Birds don't really use glue to put their nests together. Some birds use mud. Can you imagine having your bed made out of sticks and mud? <laughs> That'd be a funny bed. It's usually the mom bird who builds the nest, but the dad will help bring her supplies. Isn't that cool? They carry them in their beaks. When the outside of the nest is built, some birds put softer things on the inside, you know, to make like a soft, cozy place for their eggs. This could be their own feathers, or sometimes they find stuff called moss, or the fluff inside of different plants, maybe like a cattail. They can even use hair or fur from pets and stuff. 
Cool, huh? That gives the birds a nice cozy place. Once the nest is all laid, then guess what happens? Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> the mama bird lays her eggs. After the eggs incubate, they hatch. This happens when the tiny bird inside is old enough and strong enough to start pecking its way out of the egg. And then, oh, look, all the stuff to make a baby bird. Let's do it. Pom pom. A little beak. A wing. and eyes. The robins that were in that nest up there on my porch, when they were born, their eyes were shut. Isn't that funny? It took them a few days for their eyes to open up. At first, they wouldn't even know when their mom and dad were coming, except they would listen. And then whenever their mom and dad came and they heard them carrying a big worm, even though their eyes were shut, they would hear it and they would go, mom and dad would feed them. So cool. <laughs> the little birdie hatched. I bet it's excited for its brothers or sisters to hatch too. <sighs> Have you seen any birds come to the feeder since we've been crafting? Hmm. Me either. Maybe, maybe we can make a couple more bird feeders together while we're here. Then we can put them in that bush over there and see if any birds come while we watch. Let's do it. For this bird feeder project, all you need is some peanut butter, nut butter, or you could use honey, some more bird seed, toilet paper rolls, and some string. Also, I'm gonna use a popsicle stick to spread my peanut butter. You could use something else if you wanted to. This is super easy and super fun. The first thing you're gonna do is cover your toilet paper roll in peanut butter. <laughs> mm. I heard something. Are the birds behind me? Did you see them? <gasps> Amazing. That kind of finch is called a house finch which makes sense because uh, it's right by my house. <laughs> Did you hear that pretty bird song? Wow. This looks a little delicious, doesn't it? This is kind of like frosting a cake, except um, you're frosting a toilet paper roll. Okay, once you have your toilet paper roll all covered up, you're gonna roll it in the bird seed. It's kind of like the sprinkles on your cake. Cover it all up. Once it's nice and coated with bird seed, you're gonna take your string or your twine and put it right through like that. Tie a knot. And then hang it. Hang it for the birds to find their new delicious treat. <laughs> Come on. I've seen a lot of birds in this bush, especially the new baby robins that just hatched. So. We'll put this right there for them. Happy eating birds! I 
I had so much fun learning and making about birds today with you. I love hanging out with you no matter what we do. <laughs> I hope that you have fun making all of these crafts and finding the birds wherever you live. I bet they're awesome. Whoa! No. Oh, uh, twee, twee, twee. Until next time, see you soon. <gasps> Want to make more things together? Me too. K-Y-L-E-E. -E. That's me. Search Kylie Makes It for lots of fun art videos. Also, parents and educators, go to kyliemakesit.com. I have lots of things for you too. Like this video and subscribe.